Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide, where in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Patriot Millspec, an armoured car added as part of the contract DLC in GTA Online. So for the price of 1.7 million you get your hands on a really nice example of a climate change activist's worst nightmare, complete with accurate interior, fully customizable body panels, bumpers and the rest. No seriously, with modern cars released in GTA Online, this being one of them, the customizability factor is huge and makes for one of the most interesting vehicles to customize in the game. Though I'd have to say the liveries are looking a bit lacklustre. The Millspec is one of the very few special vehicles that can be outfitted with Imani Tech. <laughs> Front-facing machine guns, slick mines, semi-bulletproof windows, and a choice of either remote control or noob repellent make for an SUV that sounds good on paper. And it is. Well, sort of. The windows aren't completely bulletproof. Worse still is the material that is being used to render the glass. It looks awfully glitchy. Yeah, this doesn't look right. It'll take four RPGs to take down, which makes its overall PvP defense pretty good. I'd have to say the front face of machine guns are a bit... eh, crap. It's not a bad thing that it has machine guns at all, it's where the guns are placed and the angle of attack that they have. It makes them very difficult to hit anything that's low to the ground like a lot of vehicles in GTA Online. Though thankfully you can use drive-by weapons if you so desire, from handguns to flares to throwables, all available while riding in the Patriot. Slick mines are also pretty cool to have too. You can combine mine spam with more mine spam for an extra big minefield of mind-blowing proportions. Ha, ha. Let me tell you, this will be a great vehicle for running away from people in, especially if you equip the anti-missile lock-on. Hardly anyone will be able to get you. I am sad to see that you can't have the option of a top-mounted machine gun though. It really does drop the ball there. Other than that, I think this is a very nice addition to the game, and hell, some people might have this thing come in handy sometime. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, yeah, what's the point? See you later, everyone.